Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful lacy pearl ring. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials Links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to the, of this channel so you could check it out. And it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And I have earrings matching this ring and I'll link them here at the eye icon. And they are done with different colors but the pattern is the same. So you could see how just colors could change uh, one piece of work beyond recognition. Okay, and you could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could also see the short version of this ring in my new channel where I make it uh, really fast and you could decide uh, whether you like making it or not and then watch the full uh, video. Okay, uh, thank you and now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11-0 seed beads, 8mm pearl, this is monofilament, that is 0.006 inches or 0.15mm, you could use other beading thread of your choice with similar thickness and here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and I use them only to go through the difficult beads they are not obligatory and now I'm going to take about half an ounce pen of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I have half an ounce pen of thread on my needle and the first thing I'm going to take here is my pearl and I'm going to slide it down I will leave a tail here, a small tail here. And as I'm holding my tail with my thumb, I will take nine of these beautiful seed beads. And here, guys, I have my nine beads. Okay, nine. And I will go back in circle through this pearl still holding my tail thread okay and i have this now and i'm going to flip my work and repeat what i did from this side i will repeat it from the other side okay nine beads and i go back in circle through my pearl okay now I have this and I will go through all of my beads in this direction. Okay, I went through all of the nine beads and here is my tail thread, here is my main thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through that loop and pull. And this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And I pull again. Now this is what I have. And I will go through my pearl here. And when I pull my knot hides inside. Okay, then again, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. And now here where my hole is, I'm adding one bead. And at the other side, I also add one. So I have nine, nine plus two that I add after this. It makes 20 beads. In this row. Now what I will start to do now 
is take two golden beads like this and I'm going back here through these two chameleon beads okay then I go in my next two chameleon and I take two golden beads just like this and I go back through these two and through the following two as well in order to make make it faster okay here I have a loop of beads and when I pull they go nicely together and I'm taking two more beads go back through these two and also through the following two okay so I'm going through four beads in total and I pull now as I'm exiting here I take two more of these beautiful golden beads go back and go through the next two as well and I have this and now guys I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row okay and I pull and I also off camera cut my tail thread and now guys I'm going here through this bead that I just added okay and now I prefer to flip my work you see I'm exiting out of this bead here this one and I will flip my work like this and I'm going to take one dark bead and go through the following two one dark one chameleon bead go through the next two one chameleon go through the following two one more go here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm just adding my last bead from this row okay and then what I need to do is to go through one of those newly added beads and I'm going to take a golden a chameleon and a golden so this is what I have on my needle and I go here through this bead then again a golden a chameleon a golden go through ne the next chameleon bead and this row is really pleasant and really easy because i just add three beads through all of those beads that stick out okay i will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay okay i'll do this off camera and meet you here okay and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and what i want to do next guys is exit through this bead that's sticking out the most the chameleon one and i want to take three chameleon beads and I'm going back in circle through this one here and now you see what I have I have a beautiful cross of four beads then I go through the following golden and I take just one golden bead and I go here through the next two beads because my goal is to exit through the following chameleon that's sticking out and I want to take three again 
go back through this chameleon and if you can in one movement go also through the following golden one golden go through the next two like this three through this chameleon and through this golden one golden go through the following okay and i'll show you what one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row go back here with these three chameleon beads forming right angle with and then take one golden and go through the next golden and the next chameleon okay now guys i will continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row and then what i do is that i go here and reinforce my work by going around at the edge through the newly added beads through these three beads here at the angle and the newly added golden bead i'm doing this because i don't want my work to move around up and down and i want it to stay in a better shape that is why i will go around at the edge and i'll meet you here to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm going through my last four beads at the edge okay and here what i want to do is make a knot and going once and going second time through this loop i've made and i pull and i could repeat this several more times and when i'm ready i go through the following seed bead and cut my thread and remember never to cut next to a knot okay always go through the following seed bead and then cut okay and now uh, i will take another half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back to tell you how to make your ring band okay guys and now i have my new thread on my needle and what i'm going to do here is go through one of my beads at the inner circle okay i'm leaving a small tail here and what i want to do is make a loop and then a knot okay and i'm making this loop and as i showed you before i'm going once and i'm going second time through this loop i've made and i'm pulling really care carefully to be sure that i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and then what i want to do is go here in the basis of this flower okay these two beads are the basis of this flower and here is where i'm going to attach my ring band and i'm taking one golden one chameleon and one golden like this and i'm going back through these two dark beads that are the basis of my flower here okay and i pull and now guys you see i have this three beads connected to my two beads and what i want to do is continue my work by going through the first of those three beads that i just added through this golden one take just one golden and go back in circle through the same golden okay and you see here i have a loop and two beads connected with that loop 
and I pull, then I go through the next beat, through this chameleon beat, and I take one chameleon and I go back through this chameleon. Again, like I did before with my golden, here you see I have a loop between those two beats and I pull. And I will repeat this one more time. Go through this golden, the third one that I added in my previous row. And as I'm exiting from this golden here, I'm taking one golden and I'm going back here through this golden. Okay. Then I go through these three beads that I just added, the last three beads. And I pull like this. And I'm going to continue with my work the same way that I've showed you. I'm taking one golden and I'm going back in circle through the first golden bead. Okay, now I have this. Okay, then I go through this golden in this direction. And what I need to take next is one chameleon and I'm going back through this chameleon. Okay. Then I go again through the chameleon just that I just added. Okay. And I need one more golden. And with this golden, I go back here through this one. Okay. Then again through this chameleon, through this golden, sorry. And if you want, you could go reinforce the previous row. It's not obligatory, but you could do this if you want. Okay just to be sure that your ring band will be really strong but again i'm saying it's not obligatory okay and then i will continue this the same way here okay and i'm taking again this chameleon bead to put it in the center of my work okay go back one more golden okay if you want reinforce if not continue from here another row and another row and when you have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around your finger just i will be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and when i continue beading i have this and this is a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger okay just like this and now i will connect this one to the other side of my ring okay and how i decide which is the other uh, part of my ring i just count eight beads from here where this ends one two three four five six seven eight beads and i will connect this to these two beads okay okay so i'm going here through these two beads and you see as i'm exiting from this bead here you see this one this golden here I'm going through these two beads in this direction, okay, like this, and then I go back through these three beads, okay, and now I connect those two to those three beads, and then I want to go one more time here through those two beads. 
then one more time here through these three beads okay and then what i want to do is make a knot and cut my thread okay and i'm making my knot here at the edge i make a loop and i go twice through the loop i've made and i pull and then i go through the following seed bead i stick my needle in my mat and i cut my thread and now guys my beaded ring my lacy beaded ring is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me